Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. This tutorial is about a loft command. Loft command is located into the surfacing menu, and in general, if you're familiar with the cut modeling, it creates a sur surface from multiple sections, multiple profiles. And this is a good example, which I'll go through. The first step I will do is actually extract my profiles here. I will just click on the arrow next to the 2D sketch and create a multiple sections. I need to orient my slicing plane, which is in front. And in this case, I will just see it on top view. Probably I need to take and start from here. I will adjust my offset accurately to make it 3 millimeters and hit apply. Here I want to get uh, to, to the end as close as possible. So one of good value will be 7. You have a, the user has an option to provide to reconstruct the splines of the cross sections and I see in this example let's leave this to 10 points and I will press create. What the software did created uh, multiple sections here and created them as uh, 2D sketches. I will just hide the mesh for now as I don't need it and I'm ready to move to the, the loft command. The loft command you can start by clicking on the arrow or just the icon surfacing and then you select loft. There are a couple of um, options here which I will go through but in general the way it works the user just moves the mouse, highlights and picks a profile then it takes another one, another one, the next one and it creates the surface. I'll cancel this for now and I'll show you the faster way of doing this. If you just use the rectangular selection in the main mode, you can just pre-select all the sketches. In this case, you can just select again surfacing loft command. The software automatically will sort them in a linear way and will create the loft surface. It works automatically if um, you have the same number of um, profiles in every sketch, but let's double click and I will edit this uh, sketch here and I will just create a simple line which will create a different profile in this case. As you can see this is a closed contour but the, all the rest are open and if I try to do loft in this case and I press surfacing loft then the software automatically will tell us that it, the creation of the loft is not possible. But you can still continue and you can pick your profiles to create your loft surface. So this is uh, which is important when you try to create a loft and let me go through now with the options in the loft. I will just try to create my loft here and I will continue. Here we have an option if we want to select the edge chain or individual um, curves in every sketch. In this case if I have a selected chain, the software automatically will select everything which is connected to this highlighted uh, curve or if it's off, it's just you pick the, the profile and you create your loft command. Another option is in some cases that you may need to create a root surface. Root surface will create um, uh, surfaces between every profile but they will not be smooth and the transition will not be smooth through them. You can always just press reset and you can start doing your um, loft again. As you can see here it just creates a smooth transition between the profiles but if you press a root surface you see they are just connected and they are not smooth. Also if the profiles are closed you'll be able to create a solid. or you can press reset and completely restart your loft creation. I will just cancel again and modify this profile a little bit. Just will delete this um, line here so I have everything nice and um, well defined. I will pre-select everything and we will press loft. In this example the loft is created well but if we have some planes here let me just cancel and show the planes. It is possible that the user wants to actually trim this 
in other operations and this is not enough in this case it goes out and it's okay we'll be able to trim but here it probably will not be possible the same at the bottom so what is the solution in this case i will just hide my planes hide the mesh again select everything and select the loft when we have the loft created we have an option that it the loft can be extended with a specified amount of millimeters. If I just press 2, you see that the software automatically extends the surface. You can play with this value even to 10 millimeters, but as you see, the surface starts to get deformed. Although in this case, it's okay for us because when I trim them with the other operations like the planes, I'll just pre select this one with the control, take the loft, and I create a trim, I can just get a nice and smooth um, contour here which can be used. You can apply the same with the other planes and you can create your uh, proper surface. I hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching.